Welcome everybody to photoshopscaresme.com In this tutorial we're going to take this, which is just a regular shot of a tree in a forest and turn it into something that would protect Sleeping Beauty in her 100 year sleep. Now, when I took this picture I really liked the fact that the tree was reaching out towards me, that there were lots of branches and it just felt dark and scary and wintry but it was a beautiful spring day. The sun was shining, the grass was green, the birds were singing, the dog was annoying me. And so what I did was I took five shots rather than the regular one, bracketing it. Didn't need it, there wasn't that much contrast in the scene, but I bracketed it because I knew that when I processed it afterwards, I was going to need that kind of blend. Now I'm going to process this in, in Photo Matrix. Photo Matrix is my preferred way of processing an HDR picture. I know you can do it in Photoshop, but I just don't think it's that good. So here's what we're looking at. Here's the picture and it's just popped up in its default mode. No idea what that is. It's just probably the last settings I used. On the left hand side here, we have a panel that allows me to fine adjust and across the bottom, we have a bunch of presets, including some I've made before when I've used this thing in the past. That's one I used when I was making a panorama of uh, an island I was staying on. This one when I was taking a hot air balloon. And so the idea between these presets is not that any one of them is going to be right but it will be the starting point for your picture. So let's have a look. I usually start around here with the Enhancer Grunge and there's too much color in that for this picture. That one's a bit uh, Trey Radcliffe and I don't like that. So this one, this one painterly, that one seems about right. So I'm gonna start with this one as my basis. Now, strength is currently set to 100. There's a science behind each one of these sliders, but you don't need to know it. I don't know it, I start by just experimenting. So I whack the slider to zero, don't like it. Whack it to 50, yeah, it's getting better. 100, I believe it there. Color saturation's at 50. Try it at zero, that makes it black and white, don't like. That puts the grunge back in, don't like. So we'll set it at around about 60%. Luminosity, currently set at six. Try it at 10, yeah, it might be too bright. Try it at 30%, too dark. So I'm gonna do 80%, which is what, like 0.8. Now detail contrast to me is important because of the branches. I'm going to put that up to max. Makes it slightly darker, but we'll worry about that later. And now we can play with the light. So we click around the options. Yikes! And we end up thinking that maybe natural or medium. We'd like the natural or the medium one the more. Yeah, let's go for medium. Let's hit process and get out of here. All we're looking for is a base image. We're not looking to process and finish this with inside photo matrix. So it interprets my instructions and gives me an image that is slightly different from what I just saw, but that's okay. I hit Shift Command S to save it. Make sure this little button here is checked. And when I hit save, it brings it up in Photoshop. Command W, get rid of that one in the background. Here's the image I just made. It's an improvement over the original negative, but it's not what I want. I want it to be scary. So the first thing I do is I hit Command J. As you can see over in the Layers palette, what that does is it duplicates it. I do that because if I accidentally destroy pixels, I want the original image. Now, I want to bring out the blacks in this picture. And the best way I think of this time for the, uh, to do that is to go in here and choose black and white. Now, when I use the build in black and white feature, I normally spend ages going, oh, does it look good in blue? Eh, not so bad. Does it look good darker? Eh, not so good. What about the red filter? Yeah, no, it's okay. Because of this one, what I'm going to try and do is use this in a slightly different way. So I'm just going to take auto. Just hit the auto button just there. Now, see this scrubber? This is genius. Click that. Now, choose any spot. So let's choose some white space like that. And if I move it to the left, the white space gets darker. If I move it to the right, it gets lighter. And you can see the slider over there on the left and on the right hand side moving back and forth as I wobble. So I just click everywhere in the picture. Branches, I need those to be darker. Branches, I need that one there to be darker. The sky is still just popping a fraction too much, so I'll move that a little bit more to the right. That looks okay. Now, this isn't a black and white picture. I don't want that, so I'm gonna change the layer mode, and I'm gonna multiply my color picture by all those black and white values. And that gives me that. Not bad, these branches here are kind of scary and creepy, but it's too much. So let's lower, lower the opacity a little bit. There we go, about there. I'm still not convinced about this branch. I'm gonna make it a fraction darker. Click on that, move it that way. Yeah, that's not so bad. Now these green things, these, these are just too green. I don't like that. So let's go over and do hue saturation, add a layer for that. 
again with the scrubber, nice and cool. Click on one of the greens and scrub to the left, completely takes that out. That's not bad. I've got color, but there's no color. The blacks are nice and bright. The blue in the cloud, that's kind of annoying. I need to find a space where I can just click on the blue. There we go. And let's take the blue out. That's the picture I had in my mind. That's what I saw when I was walking along the path. Maybe a little bit less blue. How's that? Now, this was an HDR picture, which means it's by just definition it's not sharp. So I need to do something about that. I'm going to hold down the shift key, the option key, the command key, and I'm going to hit E. That command is known as stamp, and I've not yet found it on a menu. What it's done is it's created me a brand new layer over here that you can see, which is an aggregation of all the other layers. And I'm going to take this new layer, and I'm going to simply sharpen it. I'm going to use the unsharp mask. It's going to come up, and I'm going to wobble the slider around. Let's try 100%. It doesn't seem to make a difference. 143% doesn't make a difference. Probably going to have to go for about 100%, 180%. Yeah, that's kind of what I want. Now, it sharpened it, but you can see here the fine detail of the trees, it's over sharpened it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit that unsharp layer by clicking Edit, Fade, Unsharp Mask. What I'm going to try and do now is change the blend mode. So rather than sharpen every pixel on the screen, I'm just going to sharpen the, the luminosity, the brightness layer. So it's not going to sharpen the pixels of color, it's not going to sharpen the detail, just the brightness. And when I hit OK, all that detail comes back and it's no longer over sharpened. I think I'll go hang that in the Smithsonian. Thank you for listening.